Hey, Daryl, what are we looking at here? Hey, Danielle. Uh, this is a new display that we've recently uh, put up in the training center that shows the wide variety of different types of strain gauges uh, that we offer. As you sort of scan around this demonstration uh, or example, you'll see a collection of very small uh, uniaxial strain gauges. We build uniaxials anywhere from eight thousandths of an inch active length, little small ones like this one, mm -hmm. all the way up to strain gauges that are four inches long like this one here. This is one that's commonly used for uh, concrete testing. And we've got a combination not only of the uniaxial gauges, we also have some examples of shear pattern gauges like this one. For example, like if you're trying to measure torque on a tube or a shaft, uh, that's a really good one to, to choose. This is another example of a uh, shear pattern gauge. In addition to that, we also have some T rosettes and rectangular style rosettes and even delta rosettes that are in here. This is an example of a larger size three element uh, stacked rosette. This is an example of a three element uh, delta style rosette. And the difference between this one and this one is that this one is stacked and these grids are at a 45 degree angle from each other. And this one is a planar style rosette and these grids are at a 60 uh, degree angle from each other. Um, in addition to that, you'll see some other kind of unusual or unique gauges like this big one that's right here. This is a, a circular diaphragm gauge. So if you were to take a pressure transducer and take it apart and look inside, you might see a gauge inside it that looks just like that. Well, Daryl, I've also noticed that some of these gauges have wires attached, like so. What are this? Exactly. Some customers would like to get the gauges with pre-attached wires that'll make the the installation of the gauge a little bit easier for them. So oftentimes we'll take the basic gauge and then we'll add on some whisker leads so that really all the soldering they have to do is back over at a terminal as opposed to maybe some very small tabs on the gauge. If you look down here at this very small circular uh, diaphragm gauge, you'll see what I mean. This one is little, little small pattern, very small, small fine connections and putting those leads on it really makes that a whole lot easier. Now I understand. Great. So as you see, you know, there's a wide variety, thousands of different strain gauges that we manufacture, hundreds of different gauge patterns, and this is just a small sampling of those to kind of give you an idea of the, the range of products that we can manufacture. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome.